now next one ninth one is <coughs> a man a man traveling a man traveling in a boat in a boat 5 kilometers along 5 kilometer along along the river along the river in 20 minutes in 20 minutes he traveled he traveled same distance same distance same distance against the stream against the stream against the stream in 30 minutes in 30 minutes find the find the speed of the speed of the water in river speed of the water in river this one also now this is important question a man traveling boat 5 km 5 km distance is given here again the river in 20 minutes so time is also is given distance is also is given now this is upstream is given the same distance against the stream is that is 30 minutes is given now you take the distance is equal to you find out the speed speed is equal to this now distance divided by time is equal to what 5 km divided by in 20 minutes again minutes again converted into r <coughs> so 2 ones are 2 3 is equal to 5 by 1 by 3 is equal to 15 km per hour this is the what ma the downstream downstream is equal to here 15 km per hour now <coughs> upstream you find out the same way in the speed is equal to distance divided by t is equal to 5 kilometers distance is same but how many minutes time taken 30 minutes time taken 30 divided by 60 so 2 ones are 2 twos 5 kilometer divided by 1 by 2 is equal to 10 this is the r is there na so 30 10 kilometer per hour so i am converting the into i'm so r by r 10 kilometer you know that upstream also upstream is equal to what year upstream is equal to 10 km per hour so you know the upstream you, you know the downstream now what you have calculated you know the upstream you know <coughs> downstream then next you are finding the speed of the water speed of the water nothing but you are finding the y value is what year now here again <coughs> downstream you know the downstream and again shall i calculate it x now x plus y is equal to 50 or x minus y is equal to 10 now i am <coughs> minus here i am telling here plus here minus shall i calculate it <coughs> plus x minus y is it 2y is equal to 5 y is equal to 2.5 speed of the boat is kilometer per hour this is the speed of the boat or otherwise now divided by 1 by 2 into now downstream upstream downstream plus minus upstream shall i calculate it downstream so your downstream minus upstream downstream minus upstream here 1 by 2 or like this or 1 by 2 downstream what is there downstream is 15 minus upstream is 10 here so here 1 by 2 into 5 So here two ones are two five is a two point five kilometer per hour. This is the <coughs> basic problem. Now again, a man traveling the boat five kilometer per hour. The distance is given here. Distance is given. Now the time is given here. Time is given. Now I am finding the speed. Speed is equal distance by time. I am taking the downstream. Again against the stream. Same. I am taking the same distance covered five kilometer in that in. 30 minutes now again i am converting to the hours you do you know the downstream and upstream you can calculate it directly the speed of the stream or still a man still water but the question is asking speed in water in river river nothing but you are finding the y values or you calculating or solving problem or direct you substitute in the downstream minus <coughs> upstream
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ए मैन ट्रॉवलिंग ए मैन ट्रॉवलिंग ए मैन ट्रॉवलिंग इन ए बोट इन ए बोट 18 किलोमीटर 18 किलोमीटर along the river along the river in 3 hours in 3 hours he traveled he traveled against the stream against the stream against the stream 20 kilometers distance 20 kilometer distance in 5 hours in 5 hours in 5 hours find the speed find the find the speed of the boat find the speed of the boat in in stand in in stationary in stationary in stationary water in stationary water and also find and also find water at the speed water water speed of the river speed of the river speed of the boat or speed of the river so this is given here a man traveling in in a boat 18 km per hour the distance is given here the river at 3 hours time time also is given here now he traveling against the stream 20 km they given 5 hours then speed of the boat is stationary water stationary water nothing but you finding the x value here the also finding the speed of the river nothing but you are finding the y values also now i am solution part is first you find out the speed is here speed is equal to distance now distance divided by time now you take the 18 km divided by 3 hours is equal to 6 km per hour this is the what is the given this is the downstream is given downstream is equal to here 6 km per hour in the same way now finding the again what is the upstream also distance by time is equal to here 20 divided by 5 is equal to here 4 km per hour okay now here here speeds also you know again you find out this is the upstream upstream is equal to 4 km per hour you are finding the speed of the boat now now i am finding the stationary in water stationary water nothing but a man is still water this is the stationary nothing but a man still water is equal to a man still water is equal to now this is the x is equal to downstream plus upstream 1 by 2 of so downstream downstream plus upstream Is equal to your one by two into downstream. Downstream is six plus four year is equal to ten divided by two is equal to five kilometer per hour. This is the a man still water. Again, you are finding the speed of the river. Speed of the river nothing but you are finding the y value here. Speed of the boat or speed of the river. Speed of the river is equal to speed of the river. And now y is equal to you are finding the y value is equal to one by two of downstream minus upstream downstream minus upstream here. So here one by two of downstream what is the downstream is given six minus four is equal to one by two of two is equal to one kilometer per hour. This is the traveling boat. <coughs> This very very important. this now a man traveling boat 18 km in 3 hours 3 hours nothing but 18 divided by 3 you can get the speed in the first one next this now 20 km 5 hours 20 nothing but here your 20 divided by 5 hours this is the this is the upstream upstream gate you know the upstream you know the downstream you find the a man still water nothing but 1 by 5 into downstream plus upstream that you can get a man still water 
again the speed of the river nothing but 1 by 2 downstream minus upstream you can get the values of like this <coughs> now this is both same streams now we see the last problem now tenth or this one is so i think <coughs> yeah tenth problem okay now see speed of the speed of the boat boat in stationary in stationary water stationary water 50 kilometer per hour speed of the boat speed of the boat in river in river 3 kilometer per hour 3 kilometer per hour a person traveling a person traveling a person traveling <coughs> traveling in opposite direction in opposite in opposite direction in opposite direction direction to the water to the water to the water 18 kilometer per hour then then how much time how much time to be required how much time to be required how much time to be required here? Required. How much time to will be required here? Now here a boat stationary is given here. <coughs> Standing in stationary water, water nothing but x is given here. X is equal to what here? 50 kilometer per hour is given. Speed of the boat in still river, river nothing but y is given. Y is equal to here 3 kilometer per hour is given. Now they are travelling in opposite direction, they are travelling in opposite direction what in 18 kilometer per hour, opposite direction they given 18 kilometer per hour then time to be required, how much time to be required here, now see here <coughs> opposite direction is given now here, opposite direction is equal to opposite, opposite nothing but what I am taking here x minus y is equal to 18, 18 kilometer per hour but according to this one time will be required here how much time to will be required here now here x y is now <coughs> you find out the here 8 now uh, how much time time is equal to what can be written at distance divided time is equal to distance divided by time is equal to distance divided by now here speed Okay, time is equal to distance divided by time. Your time required, how much time? Now, in, first you find out the distance here. How much distance here called here? In <coughs> how much distance here called? So, do you know the your distance? Now you find out the distance in the first. Again, now what is given here? Now downstream is equal to, first find out that this one is uh, uh, against the stream. This is also against the stream you find out oppose now upstream is equal to you take this one upstream is equal to upstream is equal to x minus y is equal to 15 minus 3 is equal to 12 kilometer per hour but this is the upstream is given that one also upstream is given here 18 kilometer per hour this is the 12 this is the total here up in the opposite direction they cover in 18 this is not this 18 kilometer water in opposite direction water 18 kilometer then find the distance is must and should be given now, the speed of the boat stationary water 50 kilometer per hour speed of the boat in the river 3 kilometer per hour in person traveling in opposite direction opposite direction nothing but the upstream x minus y is equal to 12 kilometer now opposite direction water in 18 kilometers they traveling in 18 kilometers then how much time to required required is equal to here <coughs> now calculated this 18 kilometers now time is equal to your time is equal to 
डिस्टेंस डिवाइडेड बाय स्पीड इज इक्वल टू 18 डिवाइडेड बाय 12 सो 18 नथिंग बट 6 3 जा 6 2 जा सो 6 2 जा 3 बाय 2 नथिंग बट हाफ आवर रिक्वायर्ड सो 1 एंड हाफ आवर विल बी रिक्वायर्ड वंस अगेन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट स्टेशनरी स्टेशनरी इज गिवन इन द एक्स इज गिवन द स्टेशनरी द स्पीड ऑफ द रिवर इज गिवन हियर द स्पीड ऑफ द रिवर इज वाई इज गिवन in the person is traveling in opposite direction to the water in in here 18 km the distance is given here so the distance is given then how much time to be required time you require time nothing but distance by time but you are finding the in the opposite direction what is there here x you know y you know is opposite direction x minus y here so your 50 your 50 minus 13 is equal to 15 minus 3 is equal to 12 km this is the speed downstream the upstream is speed is given the opposite direction so this is given in <coughs> now your distance is given distance is equal to 18 km is given you know the distance you know the speed here you know the speed now time is equal to distance by speed is 18 by 2 is equal to 1 and 1/2 hour required <coughs> time is required 1 and 1/2 hour <coughs> 